hello traders um bash the trader right here um so i just wanted to make this quick video to talk about um the real reason behind the stock market seller you know the the cryptocurrencies the the indices you know everything has been um dropping right why is there a very um huge sell off going on in the market right so the real reason is just um basically supply and demand right so i know most of us already know what supply and demand is um but in terms in terms of its application uh, we don't really dive deep into it because um we use supply and demand in our daily activities but yeah in terms of that application we don't really understand the supply and demand um when it comes to the financial world right so Let's look at supply and demand in Forex, and then we're gonna use NASDAQ as a case study, right? Because that's what I have on my screen right now. And um, we just uh, look at a little bit of analysis on NASDAQ and how I predicted that, you know, the NASDAQ is going to drop um, from, I think I, I made my prediction in January, January, February. Yeah, I made my prediction. I saw that, yeah, this is where price is headed. I knew that there was going to be a stopping point you know and all that so so let's 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 look at nasdaq so let's try to make sense of what has been going on on nasdaq so um for new traders um the green candles that you guys can see on the price chart is basically buyers right just see it as buyers and the red candles you see them as the sellers so what we can see is that nasdaq has been appreciating in value for a very long time <laughs> so if you go back in time you see that nasdaq has really been appreci appreciating in value it means that there's high demand for nasdaq so like since 2003 2008 blah 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 all the way so now in 2022 nasdaq is starting to sell why what's going on why why is everything down why is nasdaq down why is ethereum down why is um, bitcoin down why is dow jones down why is s p 500 down you know why is why is everything down right the real reason is just supply and demand. That's the real reason. So um, let's let's try to go. Um, let's try let's let's dive deep into this. So let's go into the daily um time frame because this is the one month time frame. So I'll go into the daily now. So what we can see here is that Nasdaq was appreciating in value. That is, buyers were taking over, and then it got to sixteen seven hundred price level, and then it started to drop. Right? What did I say? What's the reason? supply and demand so now watch what happens here yeah? so it got to 1600 it started to drop so let's let's try to measure how many days nasdaq has been you know selling for now wow 168 days that's crazy so nasdaq has literally been selling for 168 days crazy this is a very huge um drop very huge um tumbling tumbling um action going on in the market same for bitcoin same for ethereum same same for you know all of the crypto asset so um let's let's look at supply and demand in depth now let's try to you know understand what supply and demand is in forex right so um sorry before i go into that let me let me explain what nasdaq is because for new new people that don't know what nasdaq is so nasdaq is just um an indices right so it's just a component of like 100 tech companies in the world powerful tech companies you know like um let's say activision amazon tesla microsoft you know all of them so now all these tech companies are being grouped together and um, they have a price tag because literally everything in the world has a price tag. So all of these tech companies being grouped together as one, right? And anybody can trade it because they are being represented as a stock asset. You understand? So that's why we can see the charts now and we are able to also trade the NASDAQ. So that's what NASDAQ is. So um, now let's go into the supply and demand right let's go into the supply and demand so um let me just put up this text real quick so supply and demand in forex yeah that's good so what is supply and demand in forex right 
So um, basically, supply refers to the amount of an asset that is available, right? Amount of an asset that is available, right? While demand is the quantity of an asset that people are willing to buy. So as supply of an asset increases, its value declines. Conversely, right? Conversely, as supply of an asset decreases, it value rises right what what does that mean it means that when uh when we are talking of in terms of supply now hmm, when there is um let me see uh i want to try to explain this in the simplest form so um let me try to see what i can use okay so when there is a very um high let me see let me see when there is a very high um selling action going on in any currency any indices when there's a very high selling action going on or let me say when sellers are taking over an asset at any point in time let's say they are taking over the asset for more than one year they're taking over that, that asset for more than one week more than one month you know measurement right so what that means is that at some point at some point hmm, the sellers are going to get tired right the sellers are going to get tired and then the demand of price will come in buyers would be willing to buy that particular asset that continue to sell that asset so which means that there will be a change in character from what from supply to demand so this is the um, supply and demand curve right so that's just basically what supply is so now let's look at this in terms of demand as well so what is demand so as demand of an asset increases it values um rises but conversely as demand of an asset decreases, its value starts to decline. Conversely, as demand for an asset, right, decreases, its value declines. It means that when buyers have been taking over a certain security or a certain asset or a certain commodity or a certain currency for a very long time, they are going to get tired at some point. Because anything that goes up must come down. <laughs> That's the reality. So when there is high demand, that demand is going to wear out. And then supply is going to take over. It means that sellers are going to take over the buyers. That's why we have the bears and the boo in the market. So that's what happens in terms of supply and demand in Forex. So we traders, right, we are always looking for opportunity to buy when the um value of a currency uh decline and then we're looking to sell when the value of a currency um app appreciate in value right we're looking for opportunities demand and supply opportunities in the market so that's that's the that's that's the principle that applies to all of the um stock markets the cryptocurrency market the you know mentioning mention it anything anything it literally applies to everything that's the power of demand and supply so let's look at the analysis i i did on nasdaq so um i posted this in my telegram chat so i'm gonna um, bring that up um very soon so let's look at what happened on nasdaq so what we can see is that nasdaq appreciated in value stopped at one point went to pick up supply from somewhere from a certain price level and then started to drop every heavily so let's look at the price charts um my analysis so this is what i said in let me see february 21st so i said is nasdaq adding for 10k price level right disruption in price delivery order flow influenced by the current tensions between the west and russia so basically that's that's the reason why um all of the indices you know all of the crypto asset everything is down you know and the selling action is still going on so um let's quickly look at the bitcoin look at the ethereum so you can see bitcoin is down 
Bitcoin is currently trading at 21.568. Um, let me see if I have this um, markup, my analysis on Bitcoin. So I'm going to pull that up real quick. Um, is it this one? Bitstamp. Okay, so yeah, this this is my analysis on Bitcoin. So I predicted um the Bitcoin, um, the the Bitcoin setup. I predicted it in let me see in January. Yeah. So as you can see, you can see that this is my target and this is where I was expecting the Bitcoin to get to, which is the twenty k price level. So um that happened today. The Bitcoin dropped all the way to twenty k today, and I posted in my channel that um. Let me see. Um, yeah, BTC to 20k soon, and then I said I, I came back to update. I said, um, BTC at 20k. This was this morning around 7:32 a.m. So this this is my Ethereum USD entry that I took from 15400 price level, and Ethereum is currently trading below 1300, 1200, 1100 price level. That's crazy. So um, this was pound yen. Uh, this, these are some of the, the currency I took today. Um, USD card, pound yen, and um, NASDAQ. So I, I took a buy retracement on NASDAQ, you know. So um, so that's, that's just literally what I just said. Okay, let me just explain to you guys. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.